Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling my story about how I quit my full-time job to become a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app. So if you would like to hear about what's going on there, then keep watching. Okay, so if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm wearing the same thing. It's because I'm doing all of these videos at the same time, um, just because I'm trying to do things a little differently. So I have content continually rolling out. So anyway, if you don't know me, my name is Vicki. I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app. You can find me there at Allie Bethany. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Allie Bethany as well. So I started reselling on Poshmark in May of 2018. At that time, I was working full-time in an assisted living facility as a med tech. And I did that from, well, I was doing that from May when I started reselling all the way until February of this year. So when I first started reselling and what really hooked me was the fact the first month that I started reselling, I was able to bring in $1,500. And I think it was like in sales, but regardless, I was just like, okay, this, this is, this is something I need to do. So I continued and each month the amount that I would make would go up and it would go up. And you know, it was great having a full-time job and being able to make an extra thousand dollars a month. Um, you know, I had plenty of money to pay my bills and extra to go sourcing or whatever I wanted to do. Now in February, I was like, you know what? I had hurt my back in December at my job. I was in a lot of pain. I was just aggravated. Um, I didn't have time to focus on what I really wanted to focus on, which was Poshmark. And I decided to take that leap of faith and quit my job. I put in my two weeks notice and I quit and I decided I was going to become a full-time reseller. I figured if I put in as much time as I did at my other job, then I would definitely be able to bring in the same amount of money, if not more. And I'm so, so glad that I did because I not only make much more than what I was making at my full-time job, um, I'm able to stay at home with my kid. I'm able to, you know, just do what I want when I want. It's an amazing thing to be able to just be at home and to come and go as you please, you know, it's just, I really truly needed that. I was having such a time, you know, when you, you work a job, you know, they threaten you with firing you if you don't come to work, um, if you're sick or whatnot, they, um, you have to cover other people's shifts who decide they don't want to come to work and so you have to stay at work doubles. You know, that kind of stuff is, it's kind of annoying. And when you have this job, it's like, you just do you. <laughs> and you know, that's what I've been doing. So I wanted to talk about how much I'm making right now compared to what I was making before I started full time. So I wrote down some numbers. Um, so in February, I quit working my job. I want to say it was February, I think it was like February 15th or around that. Um, and so technically March would have been my first full month of working um, as a reseller full time. So I'm just going to give you, I'm going to give you February's numbers and then I'll do March's numbers. So in February, my gross sales were $2,620. My net was $1,920. Now, of course, when you take away my cost of goods and then you take away taxes, which is 25 to 30%, um, you know, it's a little bit lower, but it's really not that much lower. Um, March, my sales went up drastically. They went up, well, not drastically, but they went up to $3,285. And then my net was $2,366. And then in April, my gross was $3,545. And my net was $2,629. Now, April was the first month that after cost of goods, I was at, I, I believe it was $2,400. So then I also deduct 25% um, every now and then. I don't do it every single time, um, which you probably should. But what I, I opened up a savings account. So 
whenever I have deposits come into my bank account, I can take 25% of whatever was deposited and put it into that account. Um, but I haven't been keeping up with that like I should. But yeah, so um, when you think about it, I like to deduct that. So technically, it wouldn't be at over 2000 because I'm holding off, you know, for taxes. A lot of people don't tell you that, but yeah, you need to hold off for taxes because then you're going to have this huge amount that you're going to have to pay next year and you're not going to have it. So try to save up as much as you can, which will definitely help you out. Um, but yeah, so each month my, you know, my sales and my net are continuing to grow little by little. They're, you know, growing, growing. And I don't have a set schedule. Like I basically, I mean, when it comes to sharing my closet, I do. That's one thing that I have scheduled is I share first thing in the morning at one o'clock at nine o'clock. And then again, at like 10 to 1030 at night, I'll share to the party. Um, I used to share a lot more than what I share now, but I decided, you know, I was honestly, I don't want carpal tunnel and there, that's a lot of sharing. Like I have paid a virtual assistant to share for me every now and then. It's like $14.99, I think, to do on the weekends, which I have done, and it's a blessing in disguise. I'm not going to lie. I still had cells, and it was just kind of nice to not have to share because, you know, your thumbs, they can start hurting. Your hand, my hand would start going numb. It, it can get crazy. And I have like 679 active listings, so, you know, when you're sharing that multiple times a day, it can really <laughs> hurt your wrist, so. But, um... Yeah, my sales are continuing to go up. Obviously, I'm trying to continue to build the amount of active listings in my closet. The one thing that I do miss is having um, that cushion um, to fall back on. Like I said, when I was working a full-time job and doing this part-time, um, I had extra money. You know what I mean? Like, I was able to go and splurge whenever I wanted to. I really can't do that right now. So I know it's because I just started off. So I keep that in the back of my mind. You know, don't give up. Don't go off and get another job. You know, I know if I continue because I'm seeing it in the numbers, they're going up. It's just, it takes a little bit of time and I might need to work a little bit harder than I'm working now and maybe set bigger, you know, um, goals for each day instead of like a weekly goal, which is what I typically do. Um, my weekly goal is to at least make at least $500 a week, and that's net. Um, of course, it equals out to about what I was making at my previous job after you take out the taxes and you take out the cost of goods. So, you know, I want my bills paid. That's my biggest thing, but like I said, it would be nice to have some cushion too. So I'm trying to implement a few more things to, you know, make more money so I just started um, listing things on eBay I'm gonna try it out you know I have been selling on eBay since originally I started on eBay in 2001 I was a drop shipper back whenever it first started um, and I got into some trouble and my account got suspended when I finally got my account back I didn't do anything with it and then I started again reselling in 2010 so um, 2010 came around, I was selling hard goods, so I was doing like yard sales, and you know, it was, I was making decent money, but I just didn't really enjoy it. I didn't enjoy packing all of these hard goods. It's a pain to have to go out and bubble wrap and, and all this kind of stuff, so I stopped, and I went out and got a job, so. Um, I enjoy selling clothing. It's a lot easier to ship. Um, it's, it's, I really enjoy it. It's something that I didn't think that I would ever be doing but I am so um, if you are looking to quit your job make sure now I see some people say oh well make sure you have a certain amount of months worth of bill you know money saved up just in case and that's smart um, we have a two-person household here so one person does work so I took those chances knowing that he pays the rent I'm responsible for the other bills like the electricity, the water, the sewer, um, my car payment, um, you know, all of those types of things. And I figured I was already making enough part-time on Poshmark to cover those things. So I wasn't really worried about it. But I would definitely, if you're able to, save up some money. Um, just so you have that cushion. Because that's the one thing that I'm lacking that I really truly wish 
that I still had. <laughs> um, I'm really glad that I, I took that, that leap. There is a Steve Harvey video, which I will link in the description below, but it is something that really, it set with me. When I first saw it, I was like, you know, it makes perfect sense, you know. You will never know if you can do something until you do it. You can't just sit and think, I want to do it, I want to do it, but I'm scared. Don't let fear rule your life. If you feel that, if you're in a place right now where you're making enough that you're able to pay the bills that you have to pay, then take a chance, you know. I'm not telling everybody to go quit their job, but, you know, if it's what you truly are passionate about, then do it. Because you will regret it if you don't do it. Um... I'm, you know, all I can say is just go watch the video in the description below. It's just Steve Harvey. It's like after a Family Feud show that he had and he taught the audience. And it's an amazing and a powerful, powerful message um, about just taking that leap of faith and seeing, you know, where you can go with your gift, basically. Everybody has a gift. Some people spend their entire life looking for it. And then some people take that chance and they find it. So... Um, if you're good at what you do, then you will succeed. Anyway, so I think that's it. I'm trying to do a couple videos tonight just to get it out the way so I have things saved up to release over the next couple weeks because I'm going to be focusing a lot on listing on Poshmark. So I think that's it for this video. But anyway, I hope everybody has a great night and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.